Well lads, what's the crack and welcome back to another new video in KTFG and yes lads, we're back with another match day vlog. Today the Ulster Championship does begin as Arma take on Antrim in the athletic rounds for the preliminary round now. I mean, for a prediction here, I guess we'll start off with that. I mean, uh, actually my prediction was in my Ulster Championship prediction video, so if you haven't seen that yet, I would advise you to go watch that. But you know, I do think Arma should win this one. You know, Antrim, I don't want the Scottish or anything, but Antrim shouldn't be anything special in my opinion. Um, well, I do think we definitely can get at them, score a few goals, get plenty of points, get more attacking again like we were last year. Um, well, this could definitely set us very well up. It could get us sharp again if we do win and then we're away to Calvin in two weeks' time. So I'll tell you what, it'll be an interesting match. It'll be interesting to see how Arma will play and interesting to see what the score will be then at the end. So we'll see you all then into the athletic rounds. <laughs> Look at the crowds going into the athletic grounds here with less than an hour until through in. Plenty of Arma fans out for the occasion. Here's our seats then for the game. We've got good seats. And the athletic grounds are starting to pack out. As you can see, there's a few of the Arma boys out there. A few of the subs. And the, the injured players as well. So, Less than an hour, could be 40 45 minutes until throwing. There's the Armad King that just arrived out there now. Stadium filling up here with about 30 35 minutes to go until throwing. Here's both teams in for the game. I mean, looking at Armad's side, there is a few changes, but. I would expect one or two changes to that side to be made before throwing. James Morgan's back in the start team, that's really good to see there as well. And as for Antrim then, I uh, don't really recognise anyone on that team, but I'm sure they've got one or two uh, hidden gems in there, so still a wait and throw in here at the athletic rounds. There's Rain O'Neill out there, he's not playing today. He must still be injured, but he's still with the squad anyway. There's Ethan Rafferty there as well, that's Ronald. You know it's time for championship win. You see the band huh? march out in the pitch, pretty much. Here comes the Antrim team now. Interesting to see how they will fare here against Armagh, because of course Armagh beat them pretty well in the McKenna Cup back in January. Interesting to see how they fare now a few months into the season. With a few games under their belt. Okay. As you can see here, both sides, Ulster records over the past wee while haven't been too great. I mean, Armagh's only won four of the last 17 in Ulster in the past decade, which is pretty poor. Whereas Antrim have only won one uh, out of 12 games in the last decade. So both these sides will be ruined to get a win here and they'll be ruined to end their Ulster Championship Pudu and have a good year this year. Decent crowd here today at the Athletic Greens. And well, we're about in between 10 to 15 minutes until throw in now. There's the famous Garvahi Road. Our last name, or flag, back in action here today.
Game begins. One arm on. It's alright, it's alright. Over the bar, Rory. Over the bar. Yes, yes. One arm on. They've gone from Spain and they're shooting beats me. Raven! Yes! 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 Armand lead by six at the break. Hand four. So half time here then. Armand by six. Uh, we definitely have been the better side by far. Like I mean, for most of that first half, Antrim were really, really poor. I mean, no harm done for intended, but they really are not a great side. Like their shooting overall today has been awful. They only just improved there over the, uh, in the last like five, ten minutes there. But Armand definitely have been the best thing at team at everything. Um, well, I hope we need to score a goal or two in the second half. I think that's what we need. Hundred percent see this game out. So yeah, I'll see you all then for the second half. Uh, yeah, second half begins. Come on,
Don't fail, don't fail. Ah, so good. Guys, all over. And I win by nine in the end. Easy enough win. And we're through to the quarterfinals of Ulster. So lads, there you go, Armagh through to the quarterfinals of the Ulster Championship with a nine point win there against Antrim now. I mean, we all sort of expected Armagh to win, didn't we? I mean, Antrim, uh, no harm tended like they are the worst team, in my opinion, in Ulster and they never really do well. So I mean, look at, we definitely did play well, we definitely were the better side, but there is actually still a lot we can improve on. I was disappointed we didn't score a few goals in that one. I think we definitely could have benefited off that. But look at 20 points instead of a brilliant margin, you know. Uh, Connor Herbert, especially, 8 points in that game. That is incredible. Shane McPartland played a real good match in midfield as well. He scored 4 points as well. And you know, overall, Armagh were a good side. You know, James Morgan, I thought, a cornerback in his return, he played really good as well. And I tell you what, I do think we definitely did deserve the win. Two weeks' time, we're away to Cav, and that'll be a really tricky match. It will be a good match, definitely. Interesting to see if Armagh can win that, but, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see here. We get the win against Antrim, and now all focus shifts for Calvin in two weeks' time. So that will end it is. Match day vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you all for supporting the channel once again. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you all once again in KTFG. Very, very soon.